Hello, it's Dale here. Today I'm going to show you stitching on Romeo Cold Water Soluble. It's this very heavy, it's a very heavy cold water soluble, which I adore, I've been using for years. 80 microns. You can, as you can see, I've just drawn on it with a micron pen, it washes out. And stitching with uh, the Super Twists. These are, you know, talking about these before, these are the, they used to look like this in long thin spools when I used to sell them at the shows and we sold hundreds of them and now they come on these nice fat spools so I've just got a selection here uh, they are um, 30 weight which makes them heavier than um, uh, most machine embroidery threads which the normal is 40 and they are textured so you can see this like texture on them that's my gold and uh, they are very very strong and they're beautiful to stitch with and I use a top stitch needle or it's either a 90 or a 100 just depends how I feel or what's in my machine I'm not precious about these things so that's the threads and I'm working on a new theme on a new stitching project a taste of Morocco so I've just been mucking around with a few things and I made little inserts with a mesh fabric um, and but I've decided to do them with uh, the super twist thread so that's the sample I stitched I'm not going to stitch a whole one because it's ever so boring for anyone to watch um, and that I just simply drew a little outline cut a little outline and just drew it on here this one was a bit of a disaster it doesn't really matter and uh, then I simply got the same thread top and bottom don't be afraid of using metallics in the top and the bottom contrary to what anyone has told you it's not difficult and if you use a good quality thread they will work every time I know a lot of people get very hung up about metallic threads but I can never understand why so here it comes bring it up to the top I've got it on a uh, free machine with a uh, darning foot I've got it on plain stitch and the tension's around about two I haven't really loosened it off much and then I just go around the outside of my little shape not too fast just so you can see where I'm going remember part of it stitching on this sort of thing is how you hold your tongue so if your tongue's all funny maybe your stitching might be I don't know and then you're just going around to anchor it, make your, make your design. Maybe go around twice. Try and get them sort of matching. You're going to zigzag over them at the end. And then you're making that lattice so you go up and down. Sometimes it's quite nice to have a different colour the metallic in the bottom. and. A green gold is, I like to use sometimes in here. I've got the same gold in it. And then I'll just go up to here. And here again. And I won't do the whole thing. I just want to show you, you can go the other way. So you've got a proper, a whole lattice. And you can see it's become a lot heavier, so I'm just going to show you how I do that. So pretend, well, I'll, I'll do a couple here. Just up and back. Taking a bit more care of you, and I'm not in a hurry with this one. And then put it onto a tiny zigzag, about one. And simply go back down and anchor the straight stitch backwards and forwards. do exactly the same back the other way and then when you finish that go right round the outside this is purely and round till we get to the end and that's all I'm going to stitch but this is the one that I've done now I'll just put that into water and leave it for a while it's cold water but it is a slow dissolving, so it takes some time. Bit of warm water doesn't hurt. A little bit of detergent doesn't hurt. And then I'll take it out, and I've cut out my shape on here. I've cut two ones a bit bigger than the other. And I'll anchor it down and when it's dried and pop it behind. And this will be like maybe, and I've got to do lots of more embellishing on it. So if you look here, you'll see that I've used a... Um, just a ray on this is Arabian Nights which is kind of appropriate for Morocco 
and I've stitched zigzag right round, but I'll show you that another time. And I put lots of little uh, hand stitch sequins on, but I could have done them with the machine as well. And then this would open up, it's going to open up. Um, obviously I'm moving on from black felt, but hand and machine stitching and cords and things and some little Arabian um, inserted pages. So that's where I'm at. Um, I hope that that's been a little bit useful for you. Give some idea of how easy it is to stitch and what gorgeous threads these are. Just always have been my favourites and I know lots of other people. So anyway, I hope that's a little bit of use and we'll see you again another time. Bye.